What's up, Jailbird? Hello, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to this Monaco's Morning Show, broadcasting from the home of the comic book men. Jane Plus on Bob's Secret Stash. My name is Ming Chen, sitting across from me. The ever awesome. Hello, love. Always awesome. Hello, Ming Chen. Michael Zapsik. How are you, buddy? Say hello, Michael. I oh, you just, just did. did. You just did. Sitting yeah. to my left. Which would be my right. Which would be Mike's right. Yes. Mark Costello, the good, good time morning, fellow. Guys. Hello, Mark. Hello. hello, hello. Rocking and rolling as always. As always, ready to pound my Rook coffee. Yes. This is becoming a tradition that here. That sounds dirty as hell. Tradition all over Red Bank. Thank you, Rook Coffee, yeah. for always fueling and supporting the official coffee of awesome podcasts. Damn straight. Awesome <laughs> podcasters. Rook coffee. Delicious. We're not tea drinkers. No, we that's no. For, that's for no. That's tell, sure. that's fucking tell them Steve Dave. <laughs> fucking tea drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> You're here, like oh, I, I remember Brian. He gets his tea at that uh, those those jerks at Starbucks, and uh, he right. gets mad if they do it wrong. Oh man! You and they are assured of doing it wrong. I think it's in part of the manual. I just I love <laughs> make sure whatever you do, I, spell their name wrong. Right. And and fuck up the the order. No, I'm That's pretty, all there is. Now I'm pretty late. Like, I go to a restaurant. Okay, maybe they're a little slow. Uh, you know, maybe they mess something up. Whatever. You, wait a minute. When you mean they're a little slow, you mean back in the kitchen? Those, it's it's. You know, special it's, needs. It's, no, it's a special it's, needs it's line not, cook. Welcome to McDonald's, man. It's not like that. I'm, little Ralph Garman there for you. Little Ralph Garman. It's no, it's not. Like that. No, it's not. I'm gonna help you today. No, it's not like that. It's more. You know, sometimes you know, you, you've worked at restaurants. Sometimes <laughs> things get backed up. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, yeah. Actually, uh, they're slammed back there. Yeah, that's rest- that's the term. Is the the kitchen was slammed. Yeah, no. And they're a little slow. Yeah. Although sometimes, know. you know. I've, uh, after uh, uh, after well, a really bad night, uh, I felt a little mentally I mean, challenged so, myself. Sometimes uh, there's a reason they're working at a restaurant. Yes. You, we, you know, we both there are many reasons why. First off, they're unemployable yeah. uh, in any <laughs> other situation. Yeah. It's kind you of been me in a few situations, unemployable. But, I got you, know. you got to tell you, you don't want them working at the bank. No, yeah. no, no, I'm no, you. no, no, I don't no, make no. this a habit. Sometimes we go out to dinner with Brian, and uh, you know, I <laughs> it, it pleases me to know, and I'm waiting for them to screw up so he can get mad. <laughs> so I'm waiting. I have done. It's that. just entertaining. Both of you it's have witnessed so much this. Fun. Oh my god! Yeah. Really? Oh it's yeah. A, it's a big deal. I have not had this. Experience. I ordered my steak medium rare. This is. Well done. This is medium. Take this back. You fucked it up. Yeah. yeah. Just, really? No, no apology. <laughs> Could you take this back? Just take, it so back. take it back. Hey, like, listen, man. And and then he tell, he he explains to me. Fucking pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, like, you. Pisses me off. Can you believe this? Can you oh. believe this? Like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, um, yeah. Actually, I yeah, can yeah, believe this. Of course. It all the time. Nice why, why do you think I go out to dinner with you? It's <laughs> yeah. great. Yeah. Oh, so uh, yeah, you're pretty laid back. You know, like we. Oh my god. We roll. We roll with you. You worked in the industry. You understand. Sure. That, that dude back there is so high on heroin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have oh, I, you can I'm lucky I've got it without a finger stuck in there. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, we don't if we get something without a body part or a nail in there. Yeah, we're, finger, you're, we're a winner. Winner. you're ahead. Uh, we we won. Yeah, That's, seriously. Just check, please. I'm done. This yeah. is great. I'm done. This is great. So There's what a, you're saying is sometimes the kitchen staff is actually high. <laughs> high and or d- and or drunk. Oh, so yeah. it's well. it's a crapshoot. Yeah. And sometimes they're high and it's drunk. <laughs> so. Well, I also read an article that um, you know maybe it was exaggerated. It said you know 95 percent of bar you know you go to a, a bar. Right. You know they work long hours. Like 95 percent of the bar and restaurant staff that open till one or two in the morning, they're they're high. On, they're on coke. They're coked down. How else heads. could they do it? Right. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, Nine, they 95% hours. though, I think that's a little low. <laughs> if, yeah. if we were on car trucks, it'd be like, higher, higher. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> <I'd, I'd, laughs> and go higher. Yeah, well, what happens when Ding, you bartend? Ding, 99. You, you know, your bartend, inevitably, you partake of what's being, you know, you partake of what you're selling. I guess, you're a right? Drunk, you go, oh, wait a minute. Are yeah. you saying that they're selling coke? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and where they're is not, that? No, they're not selling coke, but they, you know, they drink. You know, of course. So, uh, you know, oh, patron course. buy you a drink or whatever. Well, or here's you, the thing. Uh, what do you, what's it called? The service drink or the no, courtesy you mean drink? The, uh, buyback. the buyback. Yeah, yeah. The buyback. Yeah, yeah, the buyback. So, Why do know, we know that? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> so, you I know, depended you, on the kindness of strangers. <laughs> but you don't want to screw up the order, so you want to stay sharp. So to counteract the, the effects of the effects that. Of alcohol. Take some coke. I guess. Do a line. Balances it out. It Does it? it out. You, no. you feel good about yourself afterwards? But honestly, the, the bartenders, and I, don't, I'm, I really don't know, do they drink while they're working? I mean, some uh, of them, not all of them. They'll take a shot. A they're, shot? Yeah. You know what? If, if it's a special occasion, uh, most of them tend to eschew it. Okay. Because you've got a long... Got a long you night. got a long night. Well, not only that, but there is that kind of like you are at work, even though it's at a bar. Right. You know, yeah. so you're drinking at work. That's yeah. kind of like a, a fine line. I well, would it's, think, uh, no? it's 
imagine this. You're working at a Dairy Queen. Are okay. you going to be always eating the ice cream? No. No, but I'm going to take, no. take a lick here and there. Well, I would take... <laughs> you're you're not, hopefully the, not. Oh, <laughs> hopefully not off of customer <laughs> stuff. You know? Well, but you can't get fucked up from having ice cream if you have too many right. uh, buybacks or whatever. That's if you're a diabetic, well, you can get very you fucked very up. up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a side effect. You know, I'm here at the stash. Do I read a book or two? Of course. True. Of course. Like, I, every day. Every day. Uh, you know, do I play with some of the toys? Do I... You know, You're not crack, supposed to. Do I crack over the trade to. paperback? Give the customers a lick. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, boy. how am I going to be an expert at the product that we sell here if I don't sample some of it? It's so, true, man. Yeah, but I don't, a good point. I don't think they're going to give you a, uh, a Louis Trey. Uh, here, Ming, have a snifter. That's $800. <laughs> Louis no. Trey, wow. Yeah, Louis Ooh, Trey. Okay. How much is that, like? Twelve hundred bucks a bottle these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. I was actually at a wedding, and uh, it was after I had quit What's drinking. What's a Louis Trey? Uh, what kind of alcohol? It's is uh, it's a brandy. It brandy, is okay. like what or brandy or cognac yeah, is one cognac, of the. Right, it's yeah. cognac. Yeah, okay, so. it's okay. one of the finest. I I myself have never mm. my my uh, closest to it has been uh, Cuvatier. Um, Cuvatier, and actually more uh, Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier. Okay. You got my nifty of Grand Marnier. I was at a wedding and some one of my relatives had a bottle of this uh, Louis Trey, and um, it was after I had quit drinking, and uh, of course because I couldn't partake. Right. And he was <laughs> asshole. Like, you know, yeah, I know. He grabs everybody around, and then like he pulls me aside, and it, you know he just I guess he'd forgotten. It. Did he, he give like, you like eight hundred bucks? Here you go. This is in lieu yeah, in of lieu you of having. I should, have, I should have been like, hey, can I just have it in cash? Yeah. But um, he rounded everybody up, and he's like, come on, we're all gonna do a shot, celebrate my daughter's wedding, and it was man. I know that that bottle was super expensive, and it. it, it it is about twelve hundred. So, yeah. like, what do you think that would cost if you go into a bar? Can you or even order a shot of that? Uh, or not some a of shot, the, some know. of the, well, like a snifter. Yeah, yeah, snifter, I'm, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that you can go into a higher end bar. Okay. Like that place that we went to, uh, Death and Company, yes. up in New York City. Yes, I would assume that they have a bottle right. of Louis Trey somewhere floating yes. around. The best I ever did was um, I had uh, Johnny Walker Blue. Blue, yeah. yes. Right, and that was like uh, that was pretty expensive. That was like six hundred bucks a bottle. Uh, was it? I don't remember. It was yeah. expensive. I know that, but I did. Yeah. I had it in a uh, in a bar just to taste it, and I think it was like forty five bucks. For it was shot, okay. So. Yeah, I mean, you know I, what? It's it tasted like Johnny Walker. I thought black yeah. was better. Yeah, I really did. I black is much cheaper, yeah. by the well, way. Yeah, Always yeah, been yeah, all yeah. black. I'm sorry, I had to do that key and peel. That was great. You and the key and peel. Me and the key and peel. <laughs> Seriously, I, mean, I want them to be our next sponsor. <laughs> Sponsored by key and peel. Yeah, or Johnny Walker. Or Johnny Walker but we Black. Only, only, blue. S- only send the blue bottles. That's it. Please, only send the Louis, blue bottles. Or Louis Trey is going to get into <laughs> Johnny Louis Trey. Can you that's, imagine? That's his name. Yeah, there's a bourbon over at our friends over at Gotham. It's called uh, Pappy Van Winkle. Pappy it's, Van Winkle. It's 75 bucks a shot. It is. Oh, my God. Or, nice. You know, for okay. a drink. Um, yeah, very, very. It's like a ten year. I don't know it's it's very hard to get. So. I hear you. Is that like no? I guess it, it, it's. A, did you say it's a cognac? It's, it's a, a bourbon. It's a bourbon. It's a bourbon. So that's an, made, an American made. That's like oh yeah, a, uh, Kentucky, Kentucky, bourbon, yes. right? Kentucky, like Jack Daniels, yeah. kind of. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Man, <laughs> it's out in know. the fucking woods by you know <laughs> Lynchburg. That's yeah, all you got to do is get it past uh, Sheriff Coltrane, yeah. and you're set. <laughs> yes, but there you go want to drink. But you know, God willing, we get that announcement for Comic Con season five oh, going over there to get that Pappy Van Winkle. Right. Pappy Van. Or, you know what? Maybe Speaking I... of Van Winkle, may yes. I bring this up? Oh yes, absolutely. Holy crap! Uh, what All right, a segue. Um, fellow reality star and mm-hmm. former rapper who you aspire to be. Sure. Um, Vanilla Ice, oh. Robert Van Winkle, mm-hmm. arrested and charged with burglary and criminal possession of. Stolen goods. No. Yes. What's up with this? Yes. Um, He's, well, I saw him. He came to a con in San Diego, yes. performed. I was mere, At San Diego? Uh, San, Antonio, San, San Antonio. San Antonio. I was within mere feet of him. Yes, and I almost went to that one, but I was like, ah, I'm too fucking tired. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. I, I shouldn't be cursing like this. It's it's morning. My image of him oh, is careful. blown now. God, man. And, and yeah. everyone else's image of me is blown. <laughs> the, the F-bombs so, I've been dropping. See, uh, seemed like <laughs> he was sorry. doing great. He, he, um, yeah, he's, he's got live the, show still rapping. Right. Uh-huh. He's on the DIY network. Yeah, he's got his Do own it TV yourself. show. Oh, okay. Wasn't um, he on this uh, one of those uh, VH1 <laughs> house where they all get together? To, so the four he did do that. Yeah. He may have been in a yeah, celebrity rehab was. or something. Uh, I don't think it was rehab, no, it was, but um, <laughs> celebrity, um, celebrity makeover or something no, like that. No, it was like they all lived in that house. It was like Peter Brady was there and um, Adriana, sounds the like, girl he married. Yeah, like it was celebrity uh, rehab. Yeah, it does. Or celebrity right. fit club. Or I, I think don't it's kind of interchangeable. Or they go to the house. Like Big Brother or whatever. They go to the rehab. Oh, wait, you're right. Freaking Mini Me was on there, too. Yeah, remember he pissed in the corner. Pissed in the corner, eating sushi off a chick. Yes, I remember that. Exactly. Actually, and funny enough, Mini Me was his. His name is Vern Troyer. Mm-hmm. He was at San Antonio with he us. He was, yeah. Jeez. And we saw him. He was sitting at the bar. Mm. Yeah, it's pounding. Pa- he was, man. Boom. 
frozen. Not only that. I'm like, holy, no, no thimbles or anything. He was just fucking oh, yeah. tossing. A, I'm sorry, folks. It, you, if you had seen him drinking, you'd have been like, wow, that's wow. fucking awesome. It, it was fucking awesome. And he could hold it. He oh could, yeah. Well, I mean, you I, know what I mean. He could I, at least drink it. Because well, <laughs> he looked like he was fine to me. Yeah. Really, really. Was yeah. he on that little scooter? He was. Yeah. Oh wow. And yeah, wow. he was surrounded by women too. He's oh, amazing. He's telling you, like, it's amazing. Yes. People coming up and touching him. That go always. I mean, that to me just solidifies the fact that, like, if you have, if you're confident mm-hmm. and you have game, man, you can, well, you can pull it if off. You were in three movies well, that true. made multi yeah, million dollars. Yeah, and you became an icon at least for a period of like say five years. You're good. Can you imagine if he's packing a? I mean, I know we saw it because it was on that show, but can you imagine if he was packing like a gigantic could be. sub down there and the Sh- ladies? Be. Yeah, can you imagine? It's like, <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> and the ladies no, love him. Not only. I mean, he didn't even have to change positions to, to go down on <laughs> yeah. it and then I switch it up. Yeah. It was like three inches, and then boom, I was he was good to go. He was going to yeah. move you around like, like a football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Exactly. He was spinning you over here. Like the little pet egg, you know? <laughs> yeah. The freaking Nerf football. I <laughs> like fucking... can't weigh that much. <laughs> it's like, hey, man, hey, hey, ladies, I ain't mini me everywhere. Let me just hold you by your foot while I do a little. Yeah. Exactly. And, <laughs> And if he wants to go someplace else, jumps on a scooter. He's on his <laughs> way. Like a little caterpillar yeah, going cool, down. Cool guy, though. I said hello. I shook his hand. Yeah, very, very cool very guy. Nice, very nice to me. Wild, wild. Yeah, it was cool. So what the hell were we talking about? We were talking about Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice, yes. Okay. <laughs> Arrested for a home burglary. Yes, do you know the details so, here? Yes, here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm going on the entertainment today or okay. this week or whatever the hell it is. But they said, um, here we go. Uh, do, 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 the land, uh, down in Florida, okay. he got busted for he was doing a uh, one of the projects okay. for his reality show, which he comes in, he uh, renovates a house and then flips it. And uh, I don't care about Ellen's design show, <laughs> so it's the Vin- Vanilla Ice Project. Uh, yes. They renovate and flip houses. Season four set to to air on uh, March eighth, which to me this seems like kind of a setup. A stunt, you're saying. It's, this feels oh. like this feels very stunty. It's, it's a publicity stunt. Publicity. All right, I see where you're going with this, right? And uh, I mean, I to have my name tarnished like that, I really wouldn't want to do. You know, like season six of Comic Book Man. Right. Yeah. Mike, oh. Mike Zapsik busted with tranny prostitute. <laughs> Not really what I, I would be shooting I for. I don't think anyone would blink an eye though. Yeah. <laughs> if you were called a tranny prostitute, I'm well, just saying. You know. Well, people would be like, "Did did Brian pay for it for you?" Because that sounds like was something it Brian? Brian would, yeah, was it Brian? Was it Brian? If it was Brian, maybe that, yeah. that might. No, see, people might blink with me. They're like, "Wow, he's so quiet and mellow." But it's Brian. It's it would be a little more, a little uh, more. Ex- I wouldn't say acceptable, but not no, as shocking. Would, yeah, exactly. Not exactly. It's like, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Oy. But uh, so anyway, um, the DIY network is aware of what happened, and let's let's put it this way. Okay. Here's a guy. He his the only thing he's got going for him right now is his reputation hmm. uh, and his reality show. Why would he do something to screw that up for like how much was the stuff worth like four grand maybe? Right. What Even if like the a, stuff was worth what, ten it grand, like a freaking like lawnmower and shit. It was oh, it was, was like, a pool warmer, a pool, um, a pool warmer, bicycles, a couch, a mattress. A mattress. A mattress. mattress. He stole a mattress. So seriously. Why do you steal smel- a mattress? It smells weird in there. No, yeah. it doesn't. <laughs> Did they really see a mattress? Yeah, and a mattress. Why? Now, why well, maybe it was like a like a freaking Serta like. What it, does, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> what it even if it's a grand? Right. Which I mean, mattresses can go for upwards of like five grand. Uh, we heard Walt Walt had a, has a very famous mattress shopping story. Oh yes, yeah, like, the what? pillow. Yeah, the pillow. It's like yeah. I don't. Never mind. But <laughs> if he's stealing a mattress, what was his getaway car? A U-Haul? I, I know. Mean, he's got, I'm gonna get so, Besides you know. that, I mean, he's right next door. Right. Oh, man. Who, right. Are, who are you going to look at? It's like, all right, somebody stole a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. Look at those guys over yeah. there with those trucks. And... Is that Vanilla Ice? Yeah. Is that? Oh, my God. I think Vanilla Ice stole my mattress. That's yeah. almost and like it, a Homer Simpson's Flanders exactly, thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Property of Vanilla Ice. He's right. got everything dymo yeah. taped. Now, Mike, do you think that he's doing this, though, per- perhaps... A little street cred. A little, I'm still a bad guy. Uh, I'm still a little, you stealing know. a mattress and a pool heater? No, that, a hey, pool like, heater is not. The, old, no. the older we get, you know, the crimes. Well, <laughs> if it was like a, a pro, just do-it-yourself prostate exam kit, maybe. <laughs> do they have those? Yeah, do, uh, do they? Like a case. <laughs> yeah, do they have those? They like have them, get, and they're great. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I mean I that was just cred. wacky. So I'm, I'm thinking it smells of stunt to me. Okay, mm. get him back in the public eye, yeah. right. and even people are like, "Wow, what a scumbag!" Let's watch a show. Right, right. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. No such thing as bad press. No. Well, now do you want to watch the show, or have you ever watched the show? I've never watched the show. Am okay. I interested? Uh, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, no, watch us why now? not? Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna check it out. I'm not going to go back and watch, you know, go back and buy all three seasons <laughs> previous. Wow, I can't wait to get these on DVD. Yeah. You think it's because it's kind of like a uh, the evolution of not a car wreck, but you just want to see how. No, you're absolutely yeah, right. Really? It's the evolution yeah, of a car yeah, wreck. Yeah, you know, you kind of want to see, like, it, it, makes, it makes a guy like me feel a little bit better just to look and be like, wow, look at how fucked up he uh, kind of. Well, know, like Celebrity Big Brother. I mean, mm. that is, you're looking at, um, and, and what was the one where Joni was, um, uh, Aaron Moran, Joni from Happy Days, yes. was faking an orgasm. Uh, I was, yeah. So yeah. People like watching that and going, what the hell? Oh, man. I, that, my entire childhood was now a lie. It's hard. That, yes, right? done. That was even I, too messed up for Brian Johnson. Yeah, even he said, uh, that was I'm, disgusting. Yeah, I'm turning this off. You played yeah. it for me. You played I did. it for I was here. It was, was just I, I, awful. Once was enough. Look it up. It's on YouTube. Yeah. It is. Go check it. out YouTube. But I, you know, I'm like, oh, wow, Aaron Moran faking an orgasm. This, this is going to yeah, be great. Like, this is gonna I'm be like, awesome. I, my, <laughs> my jaw was like. <laughs> In my, my belly ready. His button. Pa- his pants are down. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, he's got the Jurgens right I got to go into the bathroom. Leave and me then, alone. And, <laughs> and then, and then. Screw it. You boys are going to get a show, too. So, <laughs> all right. And uh, no, it was just, it was so yeah, sad. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, like, like, oh, my. <laughs> yeah, and, and just like, where's that, where's that Marion Ross video? Yeah, I, oh, I'll God. take that, yeah. yeah. You gotta get this oh, foul God. taste out of my mouth. Never thought she was that hot, Erin Moran. I know um, you said that you thought... Uh, there was like a three-year window yeah, where she thought. was. She had curly hair. She had like she looked like a poodle. She had the Jerry girl. Almost. She had the Jerry... Yeah. Yes, were, right? Oh, my God. You were into that? Yeah, I, it was 1982. Wow. wow. And I'm like, wow, I'm 15 years old. Of course I'm going to be into you. that shit. Ming, what about you? Did you ever find her attractive? No, not, no, it was a short Not even remotely, right? There no, was, she looked like a little boy. No. There, mm, there was a part where oh. she looked like. Couldn't tell yeah. it between her or, or Chachi. Mike, you got to admit was, in the early episodes. Oh, my God. She, she looks was like. very androgynous. Of course she was. Yeah. But you, you saw her like everywhere, like on not on Little House, but you saw her on other television yes. shows. Yes. And you're like. Wow, who's that? Who's that little boy? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh my god, is that the lost Brady? Like you'd see her in like Gunsmoke. Yeah, right. Or something. And he'd be like, like that. yeah, yeah. You're, uh, 80, you're never gonna... Eighty-two. There was a higher tier, in my opinion. Oh um, hell yeah! You had Charlie's Angels, or years yeah, before you Charlie's could get those. You yeah. had uh, Susan Summers, Three's Company. Right. Yeah. Right. You're Lydia Cornell. Our friend yeah, of course, Lydia. Yeah, Lydia. Cornell, oh, too close for comfort. You know what? She was such a sweetheart. She reached out to me on um, on Facebook and just told me that. You know, everything's going to be okay. Your dad's in a better place. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, she's Lydia Cornell. Oh, wow. yeah. Did you ever imagine? No. Yeah. You're watching True Close Recovery, 1981, 82. No. You know, Not one day even. your dad passed on that. She would be sending you What's even better is Never, right? I checked on my phone and I saw it. And I passed it over to my brother, Dave. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Check out this shit. Yeah. Hey, Dave, and, F you. No, yeah. no, Dave's the oh. one we like. <laughs> I'm oh, like, okay. here you go, Dave. Dave He's check like, most impressive, Michael. <laughs> and then I showed it to my brother, Tom. He's like, it's not so cool. <laughs> oh, You're yeah. like, Dave, I don't want to get into a dick measuring contest yes. as far as uh, who sent condolences. But I got a Vern Troyer here. I'm packing a Vern Troyer today. Yeah, I, can, exactly. I got a big old Woody. Wow. That's cool, so, yeah. though. That was very nice of her. That, that was, was really, really, you know. Yeah, she's a sweet. And heart. if you get a chance to go back and listen to that uh, interview, uh, that was a great, great interview. She Thank came you very across. Much. Uh, no, not so much for, with you. I'm talking about I know, her. I, oh, I was <laughs> so of nervous. She's dude. fantastic. Were you really? I was nervous. I was freaking. I would, I was Chris Farley showing. Really? Yeah. Right there, I, I felt, she, I think she came off great. She was oh, very interesting. Awesome. Yeah. yeah she's a very interesting show. lady. If anybody missed that, they should go back and check it out because I uh, I thought it was cool. I, I, you I, know, you don't get any money for that if people go back and check it out. No, on, I understand. Especially on your say-so. Okay. <laughs> no, I get some cred. I get some street cred. You get street cred. He gets bup gifts yeah. as far as money goes. street cred yeah. like vanilla ice. Just yes. Google this morning show Lydia Cornell if you want to listen yes. to that. Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. So, uh, so you think he did it? Vanilla Ice. Back no, to vanilla I, ice. I really you don't. Think he did it? I think that uh, this is all a trumped stunt. up charges. Stunt. Stunt. I, I, I call stunt. The DIY network needs stunt. Three, oh yeah. Okay. Oh hell yes. Mm. I mean, who watches the DIY network? The people who fall asleep, who drunkenly fall asleep on top of their um, remote controls and just <laughs> and accidentally, accidentally hit it. Over. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And wake okay. up to it, it's like, the fuck am I watching? You know, I don't even know it. what it is. I, I don't know. Do, you, you can watch people renovate a house okay. yeah, or build a grill. Construction. Uh, they <laughs> really? like, repave oh, oh, okay. a driveway. They, uh, they fix a gate. So they're borderline educational? 
Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. Know, like a, yeah okay. And then you got the two brothers. Hey, let's get in there and um, we'll make somebody a pool. Okay. Yeah, and they go in the back and they have no skills whatsoever. Yeah, that's really, We're just digging. Really? It's <laughs> for people who, you know, like to fix their own appliances, fix their, renovate their own houses. I Not, hope you wanted a moat. <laughs> yeah. People who, you know, change out wall sconces on their own. People who go to oh, home, right. hang out at Home Depot. and yeah, yeah. All so, you got to do is jump across. Um, now people, I understand why I've never seen it. People who yes. love Spackle, like this is a show that I can get into. Yes. yes. Or if you want, if you aspire to be somebody like this. Mm. Like, and I'm, there are people who I, I would love to be more handy, but I'm like, there's absolutely no way I'm doing this. I hear you. I'm actually, believe it or not, I actually am quite handy. I'm just so lazy. I never. Uh, <laughs> See, but, not a good combination. Not at all. No. Not at all. But I've done a lot of that. Like what we, I had uh, um, uh, redone a, a firehouse over in Middletown years ago that we turned into a daycare center. Yeah. And I did a lot of the building myself, mm-hmm. believe it or not. You like put up sheetrock? And... I didn't put up the sheetrock because that's the only thing that I didn't do. But I, I was able, able to frame out like rooms and actually put the... Two uh, by fours? Yeah, cut, exactly. Cut and then, two by fours and then had or... guys come in and put the sheetrock up. But yeah, Where, so... Where's this building so I don't go into it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm no longer affiliated with it. We, it came up on one other show, and I, I'd prefer not to mention it, only right. because, like, yeah, I'm not affiliated. But it was, uh, it was pretty cool, you know, just getting that experience. Uh, but again, I don't use it. So reminds me of this uh, hotel I read. I don't know where it was, like Chicago or something, and all of a sudden just collapsed one day out of the blue. And they're like, "Whoa, what the hell happened? Was there <laughs> seismic activity? Maybe right. they built Coast. a quicksand?" So the you know the city planners came out. They did an investigation. They never laid the actual foundation are you kidding they me? never put on the foundation oh, that's awesome and that is so that it's not even like a metaphor where you say like we have to build on the foundation yeah, this is literal never, in this they case. never laid down a foundation <laughs> they just built the thing up and and um, it was a miracle that lasted as long as it did like five years or that's something. amazing vanilla ice came and stole all the nails exactly yeah, yeah right never laid it's, down a foundation it's like they just started with step two yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you lay down a foundation oh, you yeah, know what yeah, foundations yeah. are over overrated I'm telling you just no one wants to do that Hey. Yeah. Is it? I, I remember when I was a kid, I would go roam around construction sites. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe I'd take take a thing or two, and you know, because they were open. You're a kid. You're exploring. Yeah. You're if you go fun. to like a neighborhood just being built, you can run around. You can go up the half built houses. You can jump into the basement. Sure. Sure. Actually, when we were building my house, kids, they they dug down and uh, in the foundation, they would go skating in our. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really? I was just thinking yeah. that. Yeah, because the nice smooth surfaces. Yeah. I've, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, of course they, they couldn't get out again. <laughs> they're still down there. Yeah, they're right. they're, they're John Wayne Gacy style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're waiting for you to build the stairs, sir. It's like you should have thought of that before. See yeah. in the spring. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, they're back to concrete laying on nails. And uh, I, I, my clearest memory though is going into the in the half built house and seeing beer cans all over oh. the place, alcohol all now, over. I don't know if they let you do that anymore. You're yeah. talking about workers, or do you think yeah, maybe no, kids were hanging no, out? No, it was the workers. Oh, right. And there were some kids oh. hanging out, too, but mostly workers. workers. Oh, my it God. It was definitely yes. the workers. Yeah. I was like, wow, is this, like, it must be frowned upon now. Well, I, I guess. I'm talking 80s, 90s, maybe early Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's another reason why the, the hotel collapsed. Yeah. <laughs> Guys were really. <laughs> city planners came in and rampant alcoholics just, you know. Bunch right. of laps. I, I didn't know if that was social. It was acceptable to drink on the on the, no. kind of the construction. It was setting. never accepted, but people turned a blind eye yeah. to it. Nowadays, with everybody up your ass. Uh, you oh, know, okay. Liability. Of oh, gotcha. course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Back then, it's like you fall down and shatter your vertebrae. It's like <laughs> I, <laughs> I deserve that. Yes. You know. Nowadays, it's like I'm suing your ass if right. you like. You know. Right. Step on a nail. Yeah, you sneeze the wrong way and right. lose your balance as a lawsuit. All right, good enough. All right, so you can tweet us. I'm at Ming Chen 37 And I am at Michael Zapsick. And you can get me at Good Time Fellow. Yes, just how, it's, just how it sounds. Good. Time or Good Tie. Fellow. Me Fellow. <laughs> and uh, I've been getting these videos up lately, so you can. Oh, nice. YouTube.com slash Ming Chen. You can, yes, mark it. You're on camera. I love it. Oh, God almighty. Jeez, that's the last thing I Every need. You've got anyway. a face made for radio. Are you Every telling second. me, man? Yeah, so, Mike, you just recently had a loss in your family. Yes, uh, thank How you. are you? Uh, doing People okay. People want to know how are you. How are you It's uh, It's actually, let us talk about that. Okay. Uh, Mark, you, you came to the viewing, and thank you yes, very much. No, um, but you came that night, and you told me a little story, because uh, Kevin and I both suffered a loss. Mm. Um. I I lost my father, and Kevin lost. uh, You know what? Let me put it to you this way. Loss is loss. I don't give a shit one way or the other. If you loved something and you lost it. It's a loss. It's a loss. 
Uh, Kevin lost one of his beloved dogs. How old was it? Was Mulder, right? Mulder, I believe, uh, like um, 99, so uh, 15, 16. 15 Ooh. or 16 years yes. old. That's a long lived dog. A good, that's but a good ride. Still, right? oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a great ride, but still, of I course. mean, you never. And, and uh, we were talking about this yesterday that sometimes losing an animal is much worse because you can never truly say goodbye to them. Right. You know, and, and in any way that they'll understand, yes. they only know that they're in pain and their master is standing above them and, you know, saying something but you know they're they're being comforted but boom yeah it's like know. saying it's a little hubber, like, blah, 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 exactly blah, 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 and food. we also had said the unconditional love part yes too. and that was yeah that's that's exactly it yeah. that's the only place you can get unconditional right. love right With automatically no, yeah. no strings attached no nothing bing 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 right so um and um and it, it's a loss and um Kevin had reached out to me, and I reached back out to Kevin. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry for your yep. loss. I don't care what anybody says. Yes. You know, losing an animal is, is in, in some ways, worse. Yes. Absolutely. But um, what happened? So, uh, yeah, what, when I when I approached <laughs> you there, uh, I was I was here at the shop, and um, I was towards the back of the store, and I heard, you know, Walt had picked up the phone, and I heard him saying, uh, he said, oh, thank you, thank you, yeah, yeah, I know, I understand, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pass along the message, it's uh, it's very kind of you to call, and I'm sure he'll appreciate it, and uh, yeah, thank you, I'll pass along the message. And then the phone rang again, and it was the same kind of thing, and I'm talking the phone rang back to back, Yes. and and he said, well, yeah, no, I, I wasn't sure about it, but yes, I, I, I'll pass along the message, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, how do these people know that, that you know, Mike's pop passed away, and, and I know it wasn't on the internet yet or anything like that, so it turned out that we were getting phone calls from people wanting to have us pass along the message yes. to Kevin that oh, his, was it? oh that, okay, that, yeah. that they were sorry that his, okay, his yeah. that his dog had passed right. away. And it turns out by the end of the day, um, I, I think it was either six or seven calls we had gotten, mm-hmm. and they were all you know, hey, I heard Kevin's dog died. Yeah. Can you please tell him that you know I had a dog? You know the, the whole story, which. Let's not, you know, uh, sell it to. That was very, very kind of these people to do. Uh, you know, they were coming from. It was coming from their hearts, and yes. it was really, really nice. But what I had to mention to Mike was when I saw him at the wake, is I, I, I said, "Listen, um, we got uh, about six calls, you know, expressing condolences about Kevin's dog, but we didn't get one about your pop. <laughs> yeah, I'm so no, sorry I'm to sorry, say dude. it. <laughs> no, it's fine. No, and, and to be honest with you, I a lot of people reached out via. Uh, Facebook yep. and Twitter. Thank you very much. Thank you for your concern. You know what? Uh, you never, I don't care how old you are, you're never, ever ready to lose a parent. No. Sure. Ever. No. So, but you know what? Um, my father's spirit lives on in every person he touched, and he touched a lot of people being a doctor for almost 50 years. So. And you could see that at the at the service yeah, of the wake. Did. I mean, no, there, was, you... there was a lot of people that, that you could tell it was everybody was touched in a very positive way. It, it was it was a beautiful thing, and I'm not there's no joke there at all. That was really 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 a nice thing. Place was gem, man. You. you went at night. I went in the afternoon. Right. And place was packed. I walked in there, and uh, it's like um you know I went through the front doors, and mm-hmm. the place was kind of in the back. And and like it's not like a party was going on. Well, and you know, also guys, let's not forget the older somebody is. You know, you go to these wakes, and I, you know, the older they are, sometimes you know a lot of their friends aren't here anymore. Yeah. They could be they could be small, but when you have uh like a, a a gentleman like Mike's dad, where he did touch so many lives, then you have all these people because it branches out, and I think that's a testament to uh, to exactly what you were just saying. How many lives he touched. Yeah, so but you're. I'm assuming I'm walking in there's like, all right, be people breaking down and crying mm. or whatever. I walk in there, it's like freaking club, uh, Studio Fifty Four. Oh yeah, they were hitting a pinata in the back. Yeah. I saw. <laughs> it was, uh, it was oh, crazy. Yeah, we, yeah, for the kids. You know. <laughs> so, yeah. And, and for me. So, yeah, it was packed in there, and uh, wow. you know, I went up. I started talking to some people. I went to go talk to Mike, and I realized that I'd gone in the wrong end of the line. Okay. I guess there was an order. Of to, to the viewing, and I went. I, I cut. I kind of cut. Mm-hmm. That's no, all right. Yeah, no, no, people yeah. people started breaking protocol almost right away. Wow. <laughs> like, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. My father loved you. Blah, blah, blah. Get out. My father never cared for you. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I what can you finally do- tell you. What are you doing He here? left this note, and uh, he wanted me to read it yeah, to I've you. Yeah, I've got a picture. <laughs> yeah. um, Dear Schmitty, do not accept, do I always not accept, thought you were a dick. <laughs> yeah. Do not accept checks from this man. If he shows up, <laughs> tell him to get the F out. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Tell, him, tell him to go over to my corpse. Pull down the pants, kiss my ass, and yeah, get the hell out. Right. You know, getting back to what you just said, though, about it, it doesn't matter how old you are or, you know, when it comes to losing a parent. Um, a great radio host, Steve Summers, said, and this really took to me, he said, uh, you know, thank God we only have two parents because, you know, nobody really could really handle any more than that. Yeah, that's yeah, true. You know, oh, my and, God. Yeah, yeah. 
But you know what, Mike? I, I, uh, I'm just happy that you're uh, you're feeling a little bit better about well, it. Thank because you. Because it was, you know. So, God bless him. Thank God you. God bless him. Yeah. And and uh, you know, I did. I actually, when I when I kneeled down to pray, I kind of talked to your dad a little bit. And I, I and I know this is going to sound corny, but I I uh, I thanked him and I thanked him for you. I said, oh, you know, oh, you, that's nice, I, man. I, oh, no, that's what true. a nice thing. I said, nice. I said, I said, I said uh, Mr. Zapsik. I said, I know that I never got to know you, and you know, I was doing the whole Catholic thing. And I was right. praying, and I said, but. Just thank you for Mike. I said because he's just been such oh, a great nice, friend. Dude. And uh, oh, yeah. that, you're gonna you're gonna start crying. You're gonna cry, cry baby. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Gonna but cry? Gonna, he's got nothing to nice, do with that. Cry <laughs> baby. That's nice. I don't know anybody thing. else said that, so it was good that. Yeah, you yeah. Know, actually, my wife did. She said, she did. "Thank God you only had one like Michael." Yeah. God. Well, you know, it's true. So, yeah. so my point is, it was more of a celebration. It wasn't sad. You know, I didn't feel yeah. any air of um, despair. And I think that's much nicer, isn't it? It no. is a celebration. Yeah, we yeah. had um, we had him for eighty five years. We actually his his illness was uh, relatively short. Yep. And it happened very quickly. He felt very little pain. Yep. And we all got every one of my brothers and sister in laws and the grandchildren got a chance to say goodbye. Yes. And uh, I tried to explain to my children, you know, the whole thing. Uh, they're obviously sad. They love Pop Pop a mm-hmm. lot. He was a great guy. Uh, even though he was starting to slip mentally, yes. you know, mm. never forgot their names ever. So, which is pretty big. That is, that is, uh, you know, I mean, uh, that it, it's true because I had something like that in my family mm. with um, Alzheimer's. Mm. And although this uh, this person had forgotten their children's name, they mm. remembered the grandkids. And I don't know why that is, but I guess you know that's that's really really key for for the boys, you yeah. know, because then you know they 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 at least have that to hold on. To. Yep. Which that's is funny because we we. We work and are friends with two guys who seem like they have Alzheimer's. <laughs> they don't remember oh anybody's God. name. Yeah, that's true. They're Comical Man crew members who we worked with for four years. <laughs> right. and I still don't remember. Who's, it's like, who's that guy again? What's up, Buckaroo? It's like, what's that, who's that guy again? Handsome. How you doing? How you doing there, <laughs> Slick? Who's, who's that guy again? No, that's Tom Mum. Yeah. Yeah. The sound guy. Tom, Tom working with him for four years. He's had his hand up your shirt every day. We've traveled for with almost him. a year. We've gone to different <laughs> cities with him. You've broken bread with his family. Yes. Mm. You're the godfather of two of his children. <laughs> Right. What is wrong with you? You inspired. You him co-signed on his <laughs> mortgage. Yeah. No. Oh my God. No. He, he wouldn't have gotten a mortgage That's then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brian. Yeah, I'm just saying the name thing is very. It takes a lot of brain power. Yeah. yeah as, as evidenced by two numbskulls who. Uh, not us, but no, 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 one right I here. Think, I'm I terrible. Th- at no, it. I think it, it has more to do with not caring than okay, not remembering. Well, right, that's, see, that's another <laughs> thing. It means your your father cared yeah. too. Yes, cared he did. Cared enough to remember his. You know, grandchildren's names, yeah. which you know, it's something for everyone to you know aspire to. Yeah. yeah. Now, I I don't like going to funerals, but I've been to a few in my time, mm-hmm. and uh, a couple of them I've been to. I've noticed people whipping out cameras, taking photos, taking photos of the body, really taking photos um, of the funeral, which okay. always struck me as odd. Like, I find such it odd. A, yeah. Sad occasion. Yeah. Why would you want to? Why are you taking a picture of the dead body? When are you going to find yourself being like, hey, you know what? Let's look at some old pictures of funerals. Like, yeah. you know, like, let's grab over a couple know. of beers. Actually, and... you know what? I hadn't thought about it, but now I want to. Oh, God. Oh <laughs> you remember this Sicko. funeral? Remember this funeral back in 86? Yeah. That was a great one, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, did, right? and, did anybody whip out a camera where they're taking photos at the wake? No. As a matter of fact, uh, my sister-in-law said something really weird. She's like, I wish somebody had... had um, Filmed your eulogy because I gave the eulogy. Oh yeah, that was my other question. You did the eulogy. I eulogy? did the eulogy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. May I chime in with one thing I sure. heard, if you don't mind? Um, uh, somebody had told me that it was the first time they had ever uh, heard a eulogy that mixed such sincerity with humor, and uh, Mike actually got a round of applause after really? the eulogy, which I've never heard of at at, at a uh, at a wake. I, I mean, I, I believe I'm sorry it, at a service. I believe it. It started at Jesus. Jesus started the. <laughs> I, and I started yeah, a wave. The golf clap. Right. I was going to say the wave. And the golf the wave. clap. Our, our, great, wave. our Lord and Savior started the started yeah, the I'm, clapping. I nice. think so. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I would. Li- that's something but that that's, not a lot of people get. That was yeah. That was a little weird. I'm like, I. Right, that's why are they clapping in church? Right. I give you all the credit in the world though, because I would never be able to do that. Uh, that's a that's a tough that's a tough one. Um, I was uh, up the night before. I'm like, oh man, and doing like thing after thing. I'm like, mm. 
that doesn't work. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. But oh, you were editing. Oh, my God, was I editing. <laughs> oh, it's geez. like he was going on uh, like The Tonight Show. <laughs> yeah, seriously. All right, I got I got to get him like real early and then just hold him. Well, um, you have five <laughs> other brothers. Uh, why were you elected to do the eulogy? I actually volunteered. Oh, you did? Yeah, okay. I had half of uh, – nobody wanted to because yeah. everyone's like – getting up there kind of a daunting task yeah your other brother's like dude i wrote the obituary you know damn actually yeah my brother bill was like i could get up there and read the obituary for him like you know know, yeah it's like doing the same act twice no that's exactly what it is man yeah seriously so are you ready to laugh yeah (laughs) (laughs) shut up you horrible man so there's no you didn't record it no, because we didn't I, record I gave it. my brother's eulogy, uh-huh. and I was all set to record, and I forgot to hit the button. Ooh. And I kind of wish I recorded it, because I, I also I thought I gave a pretty good one. That's cool. Now, this should strike uh, anyone who listens as no surprise, but I, I didn't write it all out. I had bullet points. Of <laughs> course you did, yes. <laughs> Favorite caskets? For his, for his eulogy. <laughs> I had the freaking, it was like doing a podcast, basically, but it was gotcha. my brother's eulogy. So. Top 10 sex acts that sound like mortuary terms. <laughs> yes, uh, Dolores. Stiffy. Like, he had yeah, Paul Schaefer on the side <laughs> playing him in. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Paul Schaefer and the, yeah, the, the, late, the, the late show band. The very late. All right. Oh, but I'm bumping. I'm bumping, indeed. So no one, no, there were no cameras present. No one. Uh, no, no one, it just always struck me as weird. No, and yeah, we didn't, we didn't take photos. Although my brother did call his entire client list. I think he was clearing cases. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, during the funeral? My, yeah, he was, doing, so, he was working. I no, no, not really. But we were joking because so many people came up. Hi, I'm friends with Tommy and Donalyn. How are you? I'm oh, they came together. Really? Yeah. Hi, I'm clients of Tommy and Donalyn. Like. I'm like, what, are you giving stuff away over yeah, right. here? Yeah. Is there like some kind of write-off yeah, you're getting? Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's... Yeah. Oh, by the way, could you send these papers? Like, yeah, I know yeah. this is inconvenient, but like, yeah. it, actually, it is convenient because we're both here. And no, my brother brought a, along a notary, so it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> With a little stamp. <laughs> Ming, when you say that the people take pictures, mm-hmm. only because this is very foreign to yes. me. Have you like? Uh, does it go as far as like taking a selfie, like with the? No, casket? that was my other question. Oh, it's like, okay. Mike, would you be offended if I took a selfie? Yeah, okay. yeah, because no, go ahead. Just you know, I you have to sit him up in the casket because you can't really see where. You know, like I checked in on Facebook, like at the Johnny Day funeral. Right, Did you really? Yeah, like, <laughs> Ming, you're right, big smile, <laughs> thumbs smile. up. <laughs> Doing a Yelp in, you know. Yeah, yeah, I checked I in. I found the corpse to be lifeless and... Oh, Yelp uh, review. <laughs> yeah, I checked in. Like, that, that, you know what, that is, I know we're just poking fun, but that would be pretty fucking funny. Yeah, <laughs> that, I, you can start I, a trend. I like Selfies it, at funerals. I liked it at funerals. Yelp. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, they have a little Yelp thing here. Check in. That's what. It, uh, yeah. All right, I was just wondering. I was just wondering. No, like, hey, nothing. Mike, get closer. Get closer. Get get closer to the body. Get I closer, no. Like, we did that like later on. We did take a picture of like all of us uh, with the with the, the body. No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. That. Later on, like at the uh, the repast. The repast. Yeah, oh, sure. And, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That I think. That yeah, that's cool. That's fine. More often that the people yeah. will take. Yeah. Because you know what, everybody's together. Yep. Mm-hmm. Everybody is you know kind of dressed up and whatnot. Right. Even though it's a sad occasion, you know, it usually turns out to be a pretty nice photo. Yeah. We were gonna do. Uh, yeah, everyone's dressed up. Yeah. We were actually gonna go to a restaurant, and my sister-in-law was like, I, "Why don't we just get it catered?" I thought you were going to Golden Corral. You told. Me. <laughs> yeah. I thought that would have been. Yeah, fun, freaking right? uh, cotton candy that machine, chocolate awesome. fountain, <laughs> right. like it's, you know, fun for the whole family. Um, exactly. But we didn't. We were. It was. Uh, it was kind of weird because uh, the way it happened, my sister-in-law was like, "Let's get it. Let's just get it all catered." Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I'm. F- and I did this. I did this on uh, Thursday. Because that it was a day in between, and I wasn't going to come to work, mm-hmm. although I thought about it. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to come to work and just be, just be, you know, and have something hit me out of left field. Yeah. And why, yeah, right. why, why is that man in the comic store crying? Right. <laughs> That's right. so weird. Right. But uh, so I was home, and we went shopping, and we actually went shopping, and uh, we cooked. My sister-in-laws and I cooked, and it was actually really a lot of fun. And you know, Maybe family cook-off. therapeutic. Yeah, you know, just to, right, right. All right, family my, cookoff. So yeah. you made the food then. You I, catered. My brother, my brother, my sister-in-law Andrea, uh, my sister-in-law Kathy, and I. Yeah, we made food. Wow. Catered, so read cool. the eul- 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 eulogy. I mean, yeah. this guy's covering all the bases. I was oh, a Paul man. Bear, yeah. or a Paul Bear, as I like to call him. I'm a Paul Bear. <laughs> well. You know, just again, very, very uh, glad that you made it out. Nice. Again, sorry. Well, you know, as, made as, it out. As <laughs> like the place caught on fire. Glad you Saigon made it out, 75. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Well, we're, good to ha- we're glad to have you back. Thank yeah. you. Glad to be back. Indeed. You know, my wife was asking, how's Mike? It seems fine to me. He was making fun of me just this morning. So <laughs> <laughs> things are back to normal. I exactly. wasn't making fun of Poking fun. Poking, poking, poking fun. fun. You were laughing with me, not at I was laughing with you, unlike others who... 
Uh, oh, and speaking of which, mm-hmm. I, I just want to say that I had, I, I don't even know if he uh, listens. It's a dude who I blocked on Twitter. Yes. Because uh, he, he said something really shitty about you and me yes. and I sell comics yes. on Twitter yes. to one of our followers, to, to Marshall, as a matter of fact. Yes. Oh, good old Marshall and, Richardson. Yes. Mar- Marshall Richardson. Love you, Marshall. Um, and it, it, he's like, oh, Mike and Ming suck and I sell comics is unlistenable and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, fuck you, block. Yes. Right. That's, I mean, yeah, that's, it's, that's it's what easy I do. Easy as that. Yeah. It's, and I, there were times when I would easy get as, into. Easy as that. I would pull a Johnson and get into. And then pull a Johnson. <laughs> uh, I would I would get into a, f- a Twitter war with people. Yeah. I'm like, you're not even worth my time. Right. So block, block, block. Doesn't happen that often, but when it does, I block with impunity. And this one guy, he he's he actually tried to get my wife on Facebook. <laughs> it's like, why did Mike block me? Wow, so he wants back. He yeah, wants he back and in. I'm like, oh my god. And you'd know the name if I said it. Yes, I, yeah, I, I know yes. you do. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm, he's blocked, and I tried to tell him. I'm like, well, I tend to block people, and it won't go through because I blocked him on that one, too. I'm like, yeah. how the hell did he get me? Uh, Crazy that he tried to go through your wife, though, to be like, I know. could you, well, could you, you know, really... help me out and get me back in the good graces? No, She's no, probably like, fuck off. Of course not. Why do you think he blocked me? Well, like, she asked me. She's like, why did you block him? I said, because he said that I saw comic sucks. She's like, oh, fuck him. He's of course. blocked. Yeah. <laughs> you blocked him she too. blocked him, too, yeah. It's yeah. very easy, my friend. Two words. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all. That's it. That's Just, it right? hey, I'm sorry. Or call the call the shop. You know. Yes. Yeah. Hey, call the store. Tell, yeah. Call and the st- actually, I won't even take the call, but you can leave a message yes. with Walt. Or you know what? Come in <laughs> and have Walt tell. Hey, uh, what's his name? Says he's sorry. It's like, oh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Well. But it has to be Walt telling me. Or if it's you, Mark, it doesn't count. Yeah, or sorry, <laughs> buddy. Not, not problem. <laughs> or you know, even either come down to the store, get down on your knees. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Spend <laughs> spend five hundred bucks. Hey. Or get down on your knees and beg for forgiveness. Or we and or the five hundred and the five hundred dollars because we we do we like job security or sure, get no. down on your knees and suck Mike's cock. That's right, that ain't happening. That's right, that's that's right. you're going with it. I'll work too. Now that's what <laughs> that'll also work. <laughs> now Ming just wants to take pictures, funerals, <laughs> funerals, and, some uh, dude, some dude going down on Mike. Going down on Mike, <laughs> yeah. That's not. You want to talk about getting favorited on Twitter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. So weird. All right. So. Uh, Breakfast Club, 30th anniversary. Hooray. Oh, I remember yeah. this. I first, actually... You know, first thought that comes to mind, we're fucking old. Uh, it is a little weird. I saw it at the theaters over here in Red Bank. You saw it in the theater. I did. At, in the theater in Red Bank. Wow. I actually had just got my driver's license. Was it this... No, it was not, um, not just, but I got my driver's license and I was able to go driving. It's. It, when did it come out? January or February? February 15th, 19, 1985. 85. Okay. okay, that's what I was going to ask you. February. I was not dating anyone, and I went to go see it by myself. My brother Tom wanted to go with me. I'm like, no, you don't let me go any place with you, so I'm I'm Aww. going by myself. So I went to the the movies by myself. It was during the week. Yes. So weird. Mm. I went during the At week. nighttime though. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Drove, parked over here, mm. went in. Mm-hmm. And what did you think when you know through the, your eyes at that age? Were you immediately in love with it, or uh, or not so much? Or there were there were parts that resonated with me. Okay. Sure. Um. And I see you've got one of the things down here is, which character were you? Yes. No, I was I, a little bit of all of them. All right. Well, Wasn't I, that I, the point of the movie? Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, I was about to say, you're, def- we're, you're definitely listening to three Anthony Michael Halls right here. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Like, and for, for, more, for the most part. More so for him. But, I mean, I went to CBA, and there was that little bit of snobbery that goes along sure, with going sure. to CBA. Right. As, you know, although I knew a lot of uh, Middletown South guys that sure. have money. And girls. No, I, I, I don't want to, if we're going to go around, but I, I have to, I, I was not Anthony Michael Hall at all. All right, you strike me as more of a Judd Nelson I was troublemaker. Bender. Yeah, I was, really? I was yeah, oh, big time, yeah, yeah, big time, big time, yeah. Um, that's, that's who I would have been, for, for sure. Always in detention. I had detention really? every day of my senior year. <laughs> every day? Every day. Well, Mike knows the story. We actually oh, yeah. told it on what the What did you do yeah. to get the detention? Well, we just did it on that last, ep- the lost episode. Right. Um, I, I had cut Oh, ni- that's right. Yeah, times, that's right. You so, cut. Yeah, you cut Yeah, a lot. and I had detention every day for the rest of the year, and I used to have to go for like 45 minutes. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I was, I, was always in, I was always in a lot of trouble in high school. Um, and I got, you know, average grades, like, you know, C's, yep. solid C's. Not sure. a boy. But... You know, I played in a band, um, but I was also a jock, so um, I kind of had that. I played, I played football, basketball, and I ran track. Yes. So I, um, I wasn't Anthony Michael Hall because I, I wasn't like a, a smart guy, or I didn't get good grades. Yeah. I should say. So yeah, I was more of the bender, and okay. maybe a little bit of Emilio Estevez, yes. a little bit. You know. Okay. So, 
Right that on. was me. Yeah. yeah. What um what what um what made you go see the movie? Now I, I was about eleven or twelve. Wasn't on my radar. I saw it later on. Uh, was there a tra- I mean, um, like, you know, there's nothing blowing up. You know what I'm saying? There's no, uh, there weren't any tits in it. Um, Molly Ringwald. Really? Yeah. That's Molly what Ringwald. made you go to see it. Yeah. You saw the okay. trailer, like, oh. This- yeah, she called me up and said, get your yeah. fucking ass out there and go see my movie. Uh, no, uh, I'd seen 16 Candles. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I okay, saw 16 okay, Candles. That's it. Uh, okay. I, well, that was the year before. It was a, uh, I went on a date mm-hmm. and saw 16. It was a double date, too. Uh, yeah. And uh, saw 16 Candles. Loved it. Thought it was, it was very funny, yep. very yeah. there. And you had two of the people from uh, 16 Candles yes. in this movie. And I was like, oh, and, and just the tagline, because it was aimed towards us. Right. Absolutely. I mean, it's a 17-year-old. I'm like, right, I'll go see it. Of and that, that high school um, in that movie is uh, inc- frighteningly similar to Homedale High School. Is it with the big uh, library? The or? library is almost like identical. Well, everybody's got that. Everybody had that library at that time. You mean with that? The way yeah, that even it was Christian set up Brothers had. It. Really? Yeah. It was so oh, yeah. 80s. It yeah. was so 80s. We didn't I, have like a second tier, but I mean, there was one over in, uh, before they redid it, the, the Monmouth Eastern yes. Eastern branch of the right. Monmouth County Library. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that I'm going to have to agree with Mike uh, here, Ming. I also went to go see it because of 16 Candles. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah. And I saw it in the Middletown. The, uh, nice. Good for you. So, yeah. Uh, big movie, very, very, very important to um, that my f- group of friends, that age group, that really, I dare I say that that was almost like the clerks for us because oh, we okay. related to it. Yeah. Whereas to, where a little later when we were in our 20s, clerks really spoke right. to us. Well, this was us in, in high school. Yes. And it was. Very, well, that's very, ex- I think that's a, a good uh, point because this is what inspired Kevin to do clerks. Yes. I mean, John Hughes, John Hughes, this cemented him. I mean, sixteen candles is like, yeah, all right. Uh, but this is what really, you know, it's it's all him. Yeah, you could you could shoot a movie in one location, sure, and have it all be all pretty much all dialogue, sure, no action. Would you guys say that that this is his uh, his best movie? Um, hmm. and I know it's I know that are you talking about in, uh, the ones that he wrote? Because uh, you no, you got uh, vacation, you got to throw yeah, vacation no, you, in there. No, we got to. Yeah, we can't do the ones that he wrote because okay. vacation. Should, with, planes, with, trains, and automobiles. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> also, that that resonates with me more now than it did then. It's like f- about family sure. and trying to get home, right? And traveling. Um, and then you got home alone, and, which and, is and, and traveling with a, uh, a big fat slob. Who? Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, well, we relate to that real well. Right, okay. Like a big fat slob was real <laughs> annoying when you travel with him. I guess if you just paired it Take down to Take the steak back. <laughs> Say if you were going to do 16 Candles, Breakfast Club, Weird Science, those kind of, uh, you know, that... Um, the teen romp comedy. Yeah, exactly. And we'll throw Ferris in uh, I, I well. think it's definitely one of his best. Uh, yeah. your, which which one's your favorite, though? There's also Pretty in Pink. That was one there of his. Is, yes. Um, I mean, my favorite would be Ferris. Yeah, Ferris me too. Day Off. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Ferris was pretty cool. Sure. But again, uh, I brought this up in a past episode that uh, Ferris, douchebag. Yeah, you did. You huge douche. Yeah, you did bring that up. And Ed Rooney just doing his job, man. Yeah, just know, trying to collect I the know, paycheck. I know. A douchebag, yeah, a douchebag that I wanted to be. Yeah, absolutely, oh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. absolutely. Uh, me too. Me too. It's uh, I tried to pull off a lot of the stuff. Uh, I'm sure, Ferris you did, did try to pull off. And a lot. you know that I yeah. did the grade change and That's everything. Ding so. dong, ding yeah. ding. Oh yeah, hacking the school system, uh, cutting school to explore Chicago with um with two of my best friends. Exactly. I would have done that. Exactly. I would have done that. Driving man. a Ferrari, like GT California. Oh, oh sure, my God. that's what you did do. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up this gab fest, right, but yeah. I hear you. It's time. Got to go open the store. Time to open the store. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, real quick, if you're listening to this, uh, I uh, speaking of Chicago. Speaking of be, Chicago, we'll be in Chicago this weekend. Walker Stalker. Chicago, get out of the cold and come see me along with the cast of The Walking Dead, Lost, and Face Off. Nice. Awesome. Have a great time, Ming. I will, and I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Please do. Yes. Hey, and thanks for letting me sit in, guys. Sit in. You're part of the, you're part <laughs> of the, right. there you go. You're part of the crew, man. We remember your name now. Oh, uh, thank, nice. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. your name. I just wanted to say it one more time. Atta boy. <laughs> yes. So, thanks, guys. No, thank you, and uh, thank you for listening, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Later. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio.